welcome to We Are HCMC TV, a muggy lunchtime in District 1, Ho Chi Minh City. Well, it really is the morning after the night before. City, just to recap, City played Binh Dinh last night at Tong Nhat Stadium and it was Ho Chi Minh City 1, Binh Dinh 3. Three first half goals, sealing a third consecutive defeat for Ho Chi Minh following on from defeats again Hanoi, Hanoi and Jurai last weekend. Xunan's 90th minute penalty, at least we won the second half, better second half showing, and at least it stopped a run of 3 nil defeats, so minor pluses. But really all three goals, all three first half goals were avoidable and all came from defensive lapses, which on the face of it would say we've got a defensive problem, and we do. But last night we were playing with two midfielders in defence due to injuries. And our squad is wafer thin. And those that can come into a club, into the first 11, are from V League 2. And they're untested at V League 2 level. So V League 1, we're going to struggle. There's a lot of pressure now on coach. Coach Manu, and he's feeling it. And I think he's meeting the club today which can never be a good thing. There's a lot of pressure on the three foreigners, and probably rightly so. One of them, Japalo, last night, absolutely fantastic. Ran his little cotton socks off. He reminded me, when he left the pitch, he reminded me of me coming out of a double grade one class. He looked exhausted. He put everything into that game last night. He left nothing on the pitch. Amazing performance. But sadly, it's not enough. The other two Brazilians, they're playing a bit inconsistent. Dario Jr. After starting pretty well, Denang and then Hartin, it seems to have gone off the ball. And I don't know if it's because of the signing of the third Brazilian that he's just lost something. They're too similar in players and they get in each other's way and they don't shoot and I don't know if it's a confidence thing or it's an emotional thing but they are not performing as well as we probably expected them to. The squad itself, the team itself, they're trying, can't deny they're trying but it's just not happening and this defeat leaves us in problems, it leaves us in trouble. We're still 12, but there's still a few games left today to play. We could find ourselves 13th place, worst case scenario, probably even last. And the last time I think we were bottom of the table was during the darkest days of the Mura uh, term in 2018. But even then we stuck with the coach and there's a lot of rumours and people are saying on social media we should get rid of Coach Manu. But Coach Manu's not the problem. There's deeper problems within the club. Someone is responsible for the transfer strategy at the club. And that person is not doing a good job. It's not the owners, it's not Bin Bin Group. They're doing their very best for keeping the club afloat. They're trying to drive the club forward. But they are being advised by someone or other people who have got a hidden agenda. And it's these people who are buying B2 players for whatever reason, someone's making money somewhere, that is undermining the progression of the club, the direction the club should be taking. We should be challenging for the league, not fighting for survival. So something within the club is toxic and needs to change. Whatever that is, whoever that is, we don't know. But it has to change. But the problem is not Coach Manuel. Now back to last night, there were danger signs, danger signs from the first minute as Binding were attacking us at will down our left hand side. We had no defensive cover and it was no surprise they took the lead but we could have avoided it. It was no surprise when they scored the second and the third and we were in disarray at back. Up front we're not scoring, we're not scoring from open play. I believe now we haven't scored in open play for 471 minutes since Dario Jr. scored the second goal in the 71st minute against Harting at the Tongnat Stadium. 
since then we scored twice and both from penalties. Saigon, a 99th minute penalty and last night a 91st minute penalty. So we're not scoring. We have got scorers, Shin Nam. Shin Nam came on and scored the penalty, albeit a penalty, but he scored. And is the first striker, I believe, unless Dario Junior is a striker, but to me he's more of an attacking midfielder or winger. He's our first striker to score this season. So we have got options, we just need to change things. And whether coach will change things on Thursday night against Nirhan, we'll have to wait and see. Will Coach Manu actually be here on Thursday night? And I think it will be a disaster for the club to get rid of Coach Manu at this current situation time in the season. We've only played seven games. There's another six games before the mid-season break. We need to keep going together. We need stability. We need a direction. We need the coach. And we need the players to pull together. It's trying to fundamentally change the way we play and it's not easy for people to adapt. So, just keep fighting. We just need it. Last night was a disaster. There's no two ways about it. It was a disaster and it left us in trouble. But Binden are a good side and they got a damn good coach. They're probably the best Vietnamese coach, Duc Tan. If that man does not become the next Vietnamese national team manager, and the VFF and the shooting because that man is a tactical genius and fair play to him. He sorted us out and he done us, done us big time. We were well and truly done last night by a good side, by a very good side as I say. But what next for City? Well we've got four games left in April. We got Niran at home next Thursday. Then we've got two away games, Tanwa and then Nandin. And we finish off the month on the 27th of April with a home game against last season's champions, Vitel. Following that, May, there's only two games, Haiphong at home and Binjun away. So six games to pull our season around. We need to start winning. We need to start winning if we're going to gain momentum and get into the top six. It's fundamentally important that Ho Chi Minh City are in the top six. We want to be fighting for the championship fighting for the Asian competitions next year. We don't want to be fighting against relegation. But we need to start scoring and we need to start winning. The coach knows this, the players know this. I'm not, I'm not reinventing the wheel. It's, it's disappointing. Fully expected us to win last night, get our season back on track, and we just fell to pieces again. We fell to pieces, we did it. Last weekend, conceding very quick goals, did it against Hanoi. If we score, we like a pack of cards, we just crumble. Dominoes, one goes down, the rest goes down. And we need to address that, and we need to address that pretty damn quickly. But we need coach, and we need stability. As I keep saying, stability is the key here. We need to stick together, we need to stand up, we need to stand strong, and we need to say, okay, it's a mess, let's sort it out together. Fans, players, the club, and this shadowy dark figure at the back of the club who's making money, who's doing all these crazy signings, he needs to stand up and say, this is me, or she, and accept accountability because they are fundamentally ruining this club. Whoever it is, they are destroying the direction that the owners want to take us in, the coach wants to take us in, the players want to take us in, and the fans want us to go in. So, we got problems. We got problems off the pitch, and we got problems on the pitch. Coach Manu is the man to solve on the pitch. I'm not sure how we're going to solve the problems off the pitch. But this is Oakham City Football Club. It's like a drama. It should be on Netflix. We are. <laughs> we, we are at the mercy of the media to destroy us at every given opportunity. We create this. We've got lots of injuries. Lee Wing is out, could be back on Thursday night. Captain might not make it on Thursday night. Of course, Lan Hong Tin is out for the rest of the season because the BFF don't like anyone tackling Hanoi players or national team players. That's another story and I really don't want to get into that because I really will get angry. <laughs> but. Last night, bad, bad, bad result. 
but we can amend it, we can address it Thursday night, near and at home, 7.15 kickoff. We need to stand strong and stand together. And together, Ho Chi Minh, we can do it. I really not, I haven't got much else to say apart from I'm really, really disappointed. And, but not all is lost. We're still in it. The league is a crazy one. Hanoi lost last night. So, anyone can win. Anyone can beat each other. So it's still, it's still in our hands. So we can still do it, but we've got to stick together. I keep saying we've got to stick together. So, until I calm down and add another coffee, there's not really more I can change about last night. And hopefully coach will still be our uh, coach by the end of today. I know he's meeting the club later. And there's a lot of rumours about him being sad, which being fundamentally wrong and stupid. So it probably will happen. Uh, but no, that's it. We're 12th place currently and we need to start winning. That's it, that, that's it. So. If you like what you see, press like and please subscribe to be kept in touch with any developments. And of course you can follow us on Facebook at we are HCMC FC and Twitter at HCMC FC1. Thank you for watching and thank you for everyone for your comments and your subscriptions. It's well appreciated and it keeps me going and it keeps keeps this channel going and it makes it all worthwhile. So thank you very much. We are Ho Chi Minh City FC. We are family. We are better than this. Forza City.